Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to St. Mary Virgin in Sequoia City. My name is Reverend Seth Playville. I will be your celebrant this evening due to some circumstances beyond our control. Um, Reverend Frieda will not be attending this evening, um, but I will be um, ensuring that you get uh, Eucharist this evening with, uh, with wine. Everyone is welcome at God's table, so please come forward and receive this evening. Um, if you're not interested in receiving wine, just cross your arms. Um, some other um, just quick items is that we, the majority of the service is in the bulletin. There's only like two prayers uh, as vicar that I cannot do yet. Um, so I'm a priest, so um, bear with us as we're, we'll move through the service a little quickly. I also will be doing the um, sermon this evening. Uh, bathrooms are through this way in case anyone <laughs> needs to use it during service. Um, and then during the, our recessional, it's a um, long tradition here at St. Mary's that we end the silent night. So each of you have been, received a candle tonight. That candle will be lit um, from, um, from the Christ candle, and we will bring that to you. And we'll also uh, silent night and end our service in that way. So I wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very happy and healthy New Year as we celebrate the birth of our Christ uh, this evening. <coughs>
Thanks be to God. The song for today is Psalm 97. We will sing the song responsibly by the whole verse. When all is king, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of the isles be glad. A fire goes before me and burns up his enemies on every side. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. And then we draw the work of hard images with the light and false gods. Bow down before me, all you gods. I am here
And those days, when the city went out from Emperor Augustus, that all the world could be registered. This was the first registration, registration that was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth and Galilee, Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the land. In that region, there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord turned around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. <laughs> to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what they had been told about this, to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told <clears throat> the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord.
angels stood up to tell them the good news of Christ's birth, they responded with immediate obedience. They came exactly as they were, ran to the major as poor men, as outcasts, and began to praise God for it. And that's the beauty and the joy of this story. It's actually every Christ follower's story. Although these people don't seem so extraordinary, in many ways they are. In fact, each of us are like the folks in this story. We all decide if there's room in our life for Jesus. We are all believers. We are all shepherds in this ground. We can walk responding, prepared for this fall. You and I are going to have to pretend to be someone else who you love right now and do his work. Jesus is calling all of us, just as we are, to serve in his kingdom. And we can see that God rarely calls the qualified. He calls the available. He calls those that are listening, responding, humble people, like you and I. Mary and Joseph, the innkeeper, the shepherd, all ready to respond to the call of Christ. And just like those shepherds are providing the beautiful baby Jesus, they glorify and praise God to everyone. They started to spread the good news about Christ. And so can you and I. We too can spread the joy of this season. God wants you to be the herald of his presence, the shepherd of those who need to experience the peace of Jesus in their lives. <coughs> Amid the difficulty all around us and the trials that we have to endure, the Holy Spirit, the Christmas light, is alive in each one of us. And today he shines in each one of you. So in the excitement and joy of the day, let's pause and remember the beautiful gift that we were given. May God bring joy and peace and all the blessings of his life. And may others see his life through you. And may we always remember to be the shepherds of his life and his work. Today, let's welcome this gracious life into the world. Hallelujah. Christ our Savior is born today. Amen.
prayers of the people of Form 3. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you. Thank you. 
Thank you. 